I'm Brenda Caldwell, a.k.a. Dr. B. Welcome to the Hope Zone, moving you from a place of hopelessness and brokenness to a place of healing and wholeness, a place where hope is alive to bring you more peace, more joy, more freedom, and more understanding of your God-given purpose. Let's enter the Hope Zone. Hi, and welcome in to another edition of The Hope Zone with me, Brenda Caldwell, a.k.a. Dr. B. I'm excited to be with you for a new episode talking about somebody who's very special. (laughs) And that somebody is you. I want to welcome you in today and thank you so much for uh, joining me here for The Hope Zone where there is hope for every situation. Yes. So I'd love for you to subscribe to the show, of course, so that you can continue to get the episodes. If you are a brand new uh, listener to The Hope Zone with me, Brenda Caldwell, aka Dr. B, I am excited and thankful to have you uh, today. I really, really am. I promise you, you're in the right place at the right time for the right reason with the right vessel. It's about to go down. Yes, it is. (laughs) Because today's episode, it's just it's so important to be able to uh, em- embrace someone who is special, <laughs> and that is you. So today we're talking about this topic, and that is choosing to like, love, and appreciate you. Choosing to like, love, and appreciate you. I'm a clinical therapist, and I am so often working with people who don't like who don't love and who don't appreciate themselves for so many different reasons, whether it's, you know, having come through childhood, childhood abuse, um, you know, dealing with unhealed hurt, uh, dealing with having verbal abuse or brokenness, emotional abuse, sexual abuse, physical abuse, so many type of different abuses, or even if it wasn't necessarily a, an abuse, just perhaps never really uh, having been affirmed, if you will, by their parents and made to feel love and made to feel beautiful or made to feel handsome or just made to feel worthy. Uh, and so I, I am very, very, very close to this topic. I want people to be able to like, love and appreciate who they are. And I am talking about you as my one. I love to uh, just speak to to the one and you're my one here uh, in episode 33. So as we talk about liking, loving, and appreciating you, yourself, being able to do that, I want you to really embrace today's subject. I, I really do. I really, really do. Because you know, it's so many people uh, struggle with receiving compliments, especially women. I mean, really, I mean, you, so often you, you compliment a woman on her, on her hair. Oh, she wants to let you know when her last appointment was and how ne- she needs to go get the hair done. Come on now. Is that you? No, if I compliment you on your outfit, do you want me to know how old it is and how long you've had it? Come on. All right. So we talk about being able to just like and love and appreciate ourselves. Number one, first thing I want you to do is this. In order uh, to really be able to like, really be able to love, and really to be able to appreciate you, you have to be able to decide to be you. Be you. Be you and be okay with being you. Come on. I want you to embrace that. I want you to really hear that and understand that it's okay to be you. We're not born to be copies. We're not born to be like everybody else. What is being you? Who who, who is the real you? Come on. I want you to be able to to like the person that you look. I mean, we all have flaws and we all have shortcomings. We all miss the mark. We all have a past. We all have done things perhaps we're not proud of. All of that is true, but that does not mean that we don't need to like ourselves because Here's the thing, you can never get away from you. So so, so I want you to really like being you, like being you, love being you, and appreciate being you. What is it that you can say that you like about yourself? Is, is that a struggle? If I said, name five things that you like about you, mm. Ooh, would that stress you? Like, what do I really like about me? 
But, you know, name five things that you love about yourself that you can say, you know what? I love this about me. You know, what about appreciate? What do you appreciate about you? Now, if I said name five things that you want to change about yourself, that'd probably be easy. Come on. In the world that we live in, that doesn't allow us to just, just, just allow us to just freely be who we really are. We live in a world that teaches us to be carbon copies. You know, we, we have to copy the new style of dress when it comes out. We, we copy the new hairstyle when it comes out. We, we live in a world that teaches you, you know, if somebody else is doing something, they're really good at that. And that's just that, oh my God, we need to try that too. Maybe we'll be good at that. No. What do you like about being you? what's what's unique about just being you what what can you say you like about you you know i i can say one thing i like about me i really like the fact that i am genuine i i know that about me i have a genuine interest in people i have a genuine interest in you know my friends my clients uh you know my audience when i speak i have a genuineness about me that i can say I, I i like that about me i i like knowing that i am you know the person that you're meeting you know you see me preach in a pulpit you see me preach on a stage or speak on a stage you see me somewhere one on one with somebody behind closed doors that is just who i am i i i, I like that you know, that I don't have two and three different faces and I'm, you know, trying to be one way on social media. And then uh, the real me is not really like that. Mm -mm, that's not, that's not Brenda Caldwell. That's not me. I like that about me. What do you like about you? It's okay to like something about you. It's okay to love something about you. It's okay to appreciate something about you. Now, the Bible does tell us this. I'm going to look at a couple of scriptures though. The word of God says in in Romans 12, 3, it says by, this is Paul says, Paul says by grace, uh, he says by grace given to me, I do say to everyone among you to not think of himself more highly than he should, than you, than he should think, but to think of himself with sober judgment. So we're not to think of ourselves higher than other people. Think of ourselves in some exaggerated, important way. No, no, we're not to do that. And in fact, in Philippians 2, 3, it tells us to esteem others higher than ourselves. So of course, we are not to be going around just, you know, uh, bragging on ourselves and, and being, uh, having self and uh, self grandized, you know, thoughts of ourselves and, you know, and exaggerating, making ourselves the most important person on the planet. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about in a prideful, boastful, arrogant, pompous sense. No, we have to have balance. There, there are people who are very prideful, very arrogant and, you know, and do uh, think of themselves, if you will, uh, as somehow better than others. There are people like that. And then there are people who think of themselves as nothing. People who think of themselves as just low lives or just, you know, inadequate, not good enough. And just think of themselves in such a way where they always criticizing, always putting themselves down and just don't like this about them. Don't like the, th that about them. No, 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 that's not healthy. That's not God. That doesn't bring glory to God. Jesus didn't die on a cross for us to dislike ourselves and hate what we hate something about ourselves. That is not God whatsoever. So we need to bring a balance, right? And so the balance is being able to be who you are and, 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 and be okay. And, and so I want you to actually get that in your spirit and make your mind up today that you're going to like being you because you're never going to get away from being you. You, you're never going to get away from you. I should say it like that. There's never a place that you can go that you're not going to be there. Are you with me? And so since you can't get away from you, then you may as well learn to like you, to like you. What do you like about you? Think about that. What do you like about being you? <laughs> what makes you uniquely just you? What can you say you love about being you? Come on. We, 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 you know, that's why interviews 
job interviews are so stressful for people because that's the one time that you know you're you're supposed to be able to confidently know who you are and express who you are express your strength express your uh you know capabilities and all of that in such a way that you can quote convince people that you're the right one for the job but you know i've gotten every job i've ever interviewed for in my life and i've been very blessed uh, by god's grace uh, to be able to do that. One thing I will say that the, not go and canceling out God, but one thing I will say to add to that is that I don't change when I go into some interview. And if you know who, that you're just being who you are, then you can be confident because you're not trying to impress anybody, right? I don't go anywhere to try to impress anybody. I do live to try to impact somebody. Are you with me? And so when you, when you like who you are, then and you love who you are, you're secure within yourself, then you find it, you know, easy to have conversation with somebody to, you know, to, to talk about yourself because you're not doing it from some, you know, a, 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 a place of, you know, pre pretense and, and all of that. And, you know, you're scared they're going to find you out. No, 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 no. Liking who you are. So we're talking about today, choosing to like. Mm. I, I, I want you to really get that in your spirit that God wants you to, God likes you. You Do you know that God not only loves you, but he likes you? Come on. He may not like everything that we do. Come on, right? God has, you know, his word and we're, we're to live by uh, the, uh, the precepts of the word of God. And so there's certain things that, uh, that God may not like us uh, doing uh, because it goes against his word, but that doesn't mean he doesn't like us. Come on. God likes the humble. Come on. God, God likes the righteous. Come on now. God likes those. Come on, somebody that he created. Why would God not like what he created? Come on, somebody. Come on. Don't you remember on the sixth day, the Bible says that he, he created or he created, all, 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 you know, he, he created in the beginning. He laid the firmament. He separated night from day. He made, he made, then he created man. And then he said, Ooh, when he created man, he said, Ooh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. God looked at his creation called man and said, that's good. <laughs> so God likes us. And he loves us. Come on. He likes us and he loves us. So it's a shame for God to like us and God to love us and for us not to like ourselves and to love ourselves. For the Bible tells us that in Mark 30, Mark 12, verse 30 and 31 says that the, the first commandment in the, in the New Testament is that we love the Lord our God with all of our heart, all of our soul and all of our mind. And then we love our neighbors as ourselves. And so we are to love God and then love people as we love ourselves. And so it's important that we appreciate who we are. Do you just appreciate who you are? Do you appreciate your, your, your gifts, your skills? your talent? Do you appreciate your personality? Or are you trying to, you know, wish you had a personality like somebody else? Do you appreciate your body? Or, or, or are you trying to save up your money to, to have a, a BBL? Mm, my God in heaven. Come on, somebody. Do, do you appreciate? Do, 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 do you appreciate who God designed you to be? Do you love who you are? Do you just value who you are? See, when we like and love and appreciate who we are, certain things we just won't tolerate, certain treatment we just won't tolerate. But when you don't love your own self, then you, you, you find yourself tolerating mistreatment from others or being disrespected or dishonored by others. But it's something that happens when you like yourself enough. Come on, you, you put some boundaries around you and, 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 and you command, you don't have to demand, but you command respect in a way that people just don't cross the line with you because they, you carry yourself and people know when you love yourself people know when you like yourself but but if you're your worst critic and you're always putting yourself down that you're not making anybody happy but the devil himself he loves it when we tear down who God created us uh, to be. We should never hate who God loves. We should never despise who God loves. God loves us. God loves us. He likes us. And God appreciates how he designed us. And wow, if we could only understand how we 
dishonor the father when we try to add this take away that when we don't feel like we're enough we got to alter ourselves in so many uh you know major ways oh my goodness come on we really don't have to do all of that we really don't we need to be able to just understand our own hair is enough. Come on. Are you with me? Our own body is enough, whether it's 300 pounds, 150 pounds. At some point in life, you got to make a decision. You know what? I'm going to love every pound of my body. I'm going to love my skin. I'm going to love who I am. I'm going to love my personality. I'm going to love, come on. I'm going to love the fact that I'm a giver. I'm going to love the fact that, you know, that I, I, I care about people. I'm going to love the fact that I smile with ease. I'm going to love some things about myself that I've never really taken time to appreciate. That is what honors God. Oh my God. Oh God, this is good. This is good. Come on. So we're going to be doing our affirmations here in, in, in a moment. I love doing the affirmations, the words of life to get you to come into agreement with truth, to get you, come on, to speak over your own life in a powerful way. I'm going to do that. Second Corinthians 5, 17 says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, listen, and all things have become new. The new has come. And that's what God wants you to understand is that is that you are new. When we, when we come into Christ, we're new. We need to love who we are in Christ. We need to value who we are in Christ. We need to be able to appreciate who we are and stop being a critic. Stop putting ourselves down. Stop being able to, to, to glorify the devil. Stop uh, being negative about ourselves. It does nothing to glorify God when we're negative about ourselves. It does nothing to glorify God when we can, can find some fault and we say, I don't like this about me. Oh, girl, I need to change. Oh, my God. I, we're not talking about character stuff. Now, character stuff, we all need to work on developing good godly character we all need to work on so if you're a person that doesn't tell the truth that's a character flaw you want to work on becoming honest come on and things like that we're not talking about these character things we're talking about being able to like how god designed you love how god designed you being able to appreciate just who you are as a creation to the earth being able to appreciate your gifts and being able to love and you know um you if you don't know as much about yourself and and, and had come to appreciate how God designed you, then take the motivational gift test. And if you've been uh, with Dr. B quite a while uh, from the beginning, one of my early episodes was about understanding how you have gifts and you have these amazing gift that God designed you with. And if you want to know your purpose and how God designed you, you can go to motivational gift. No, you can go to gift dot gift test dot org, excuse me, gift test dot org and you can take the motivational gifts test and you can just dis discover literally your God design. Those are real gifts that God created every human being with. And I just appreciate how God designed me. And, and, and it's important to know that the reason that God created us with these inherent gifts is because he sent us to the world, to the earth uh, for a purpose. Yes, you are packaged for purpose and wrapped for a reason. Yes, you are. And Ephesians 2.10 says, we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do a good work, which God preordained that we should walk in it. So you're his workmanship. You are a work of art, a masterpiece. Who doesn't like a work of art? Who doesn't like a masterpiece? I am an artist and sculptor. I create three-dimensional canvas sculpted art out of paper towel. I take something that's ordinary, ordinary paper towel that people throw away. No, God's given me an, a, a just a supernatural gift to be able to take a paper towel and create a, a amazing sculptures that come to life on a canvas. And I actually have the patent to that. I am the inventor of three-dimensional canvas sculpted art using paper towel. And what am I saying about that? Listen, 
we may look plain and we may look ordinary. We may not look like we have much value, but we do. We are very valuable. We are extraordinarily valuable to the earth. We are way more valuable, come on, than a piece of paper towel. And if I can take something plain like paper towel and, and give it a brand new value and reinvent it and create something extraordinary, think about what God did when he took the time to fashion and make and mold you out of dust. Come on blew breath into your body and created you to become a living soul to the earth. You have an amazing God that did an amazing thing because you have an amazing purpose and value to the earth. So why not like you? Why not like you? Not only do you need to like yourself, but number two is that you need to be able, to, if you're going to love, like, love, and appreciate you, you've got to embrace you. You have to embrace you. So often we embrace other people, but we don't embrace ourselves. I want you to learn how to embrace yourself and choose to say, I embrace myself. I embrace me. I embrace everything about you. You want to embrace yourself, even your faults, even your flaws, even your past sins. Embrace because it all turns. God says he causes all things to work together for good. Even the things that we've done that we're ashamed of and we wish that we can erase from our past. Listen, God causes even that if we repent now, turn from it and stop trying to practice that bad behavior and wrong sinful behavior. But God wants us to embrace ourselves, to embrace you. To embrace means to accept. It means to allow. Come on yourself. Allow yourself to like you. Allow yourself to, to love you. Allow yourself to appreciate you. I'm telling you, it's so important to embrace who you are and to embrace your gifts and embrace what you bring to the earth. Come on. What do you embrace about you? Come on. What do you, what can you embrace? What can you find and say, you know what? I'm going to embrace this. If people have said this about me. I, I, you know what? It's time for me to embrace me. Come on. To embrace, to embrace, to welcome in, to, to, to accept, to, to, to validate, to appreciate, to go ahead and allow yourself to embrace the truth. And the truth is that you are a unique, one of a kind, unrepeatable miracle of God dipped in destiny. Oh, my God, that I could, I feel like putting a rap song. You know, I'm a 50 something year old rapper now. I'm aspiring. I'm an aspiring rapper. Uh, you know, it's, I, I, I'm not going to give up on my rap career. <laughs> my rap dream. Come on now. <laughs> oh, I'm just having fun. But listen, I'm here to tell you, you got to embrace you. You got to, you got to embrace you that you are a unique, one of a kind, unrepeatable miracle of God. And you are important to the earth. You are important to every person that is in your life. Yes, you are. You bring something to every relationship. Yes, you do. Whether it's your workplace, whether it's your family, whether it's the marriage, come on, to your children, to your friends, come on. In every area of your life, embrace that you bring something to the table. I want you to say that. Say, I embrace being me. I embrace all of me. I embrace even my flaws. I embrace it all. Tried to make it rhyme that time. <laughs> I want you to just embrace you. I want you to embrace you. If you're going to ever like you, if you're ever going to love you, if you're ever going to appreciate you, you've got to first embrace you. I embrace my gifts. I embrace uh, my motivational gifts are the gifts of encouragement. I embrace the fact that I, I, I am on my worst day, best day, every day in between. I've made a living encouraging <laughs> that I am an encourager slash exhorter. So as an encourager, I, I am the cheerleader, if you will, in the earth. I am here to, to, to motivate, to inspire, to encourage, to uplift, to speak truth to people in love. You know, I, I embrace that about me. I, I embrace that. I, 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 you know, the world's so dark and everything seems in so many ways negative. And, you know, and we hear negative news and we, we it's so dark, but I embrace the fact that I do look for the good in every situation. I embrace that about me. I embrace the fact that I, I that I am a, a, a giver. I, I like to give and help and sow and plant 
and not not do it for any you know purpose of being known or seen or anything like that. But I embrace the gift that God placed in me. I embrace the fact that I'm a servant. I, I love to serve people and I just embrace that you know, uh, uh, about me. I, I embrace the fact that I have a lot of energy and that I have a youthfulness about me. I, I just do. I, you know, I, I embrace that. And uh, I, I just, I just, you know, you have to learn to embrace you know, I, I I haven't always embraced my physicality. I've always, you know, I used to criticize myself, you know, like others. Mm -mm, not not another day in my life. When I got delivered, I got delivered. And so I, I embrace everything about me. I do. It's important that we find a reason to like, love, and appreciate. And that honors God. Come on. You, you honor God when you look for something to embrace. You're not making yourself more important. I'm not more important than anybody. I esteem others. I'm quick to compliment. I, you know what? I really like that about myself as well, that I'm quick to compliment people. I love to compliment. I love to look for a reason to give a person a compliment. And I'm not looking for them to compliment me back. I don't need them. I'm not keeping score. I just love planning that, you know, in the earth. But I do like that about me. I, I appreciate uh, that about me is that I look for a reason to, to edify somebody quickly. And my point is that Whatever it is that you've never really taken time to think about what you appreciate about you or like about you or love about you, now is that time. Let this episode be that blessing in your life. That's it, episode 33. Let it be a, a, a special gift to you to stop and say, you know what? Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to start really choosing because it's all about a choice. Just like we choose to criticize ourselves, we can choose to edify ourselves. We can choose to put ourselves down. We can choose, come on somebody, we, we need to choose to be our best edifier. We need to choose to be our best encourager. We need to choose, come on, can't you choose to do that? It's all about a choice. As we're getting ready to go into, you know, year 24, you know, 2024, we need to make a decision as I prepare for, as you prepare for this new year, that you're going to be your best friend rather than your worst critic. Are you with me? And as I prepare to close it out, if you're going to like and love yourself, you're going to appreciate yourself, then you have to learn to choose to cherish you, cherish yourself. It's important that you cherish you. When you cherish you, you will treat yourself well. When you cherish you, you will treat yourself like a precious diamond. And, and when you cherish yourself, you won't tolerate mistreatment. You won't tolerate disrespect. You won't tolerate uh, being, you know, in any kind of way uh, uh, abused when you truly cherish yourself. It's important that you appreciate like and love yourself. And if you're going to do so, cherish you. God cherishes you. He does. He, you are the apple of his eye. He cherishes you. You're fearfully and wonderfully made and created in his image. And you are a marvelous work. You are all of that. Yes, you are. So cherish that about yourself. Cherish the fact that you are created in God's image. Cherish the fact that you are important to the earth. Cherish the fact that you are needed and your, your gifts are needed. Your personality is needed. Your spirit is needed. Come on, your presence is needed. Can you cherish that? Cherish that. So as we close out with a few affirmations on today, I just want you to say this. I am a person of worth. I choose to love me. I choose to like me. I choose to appreciate me. I decree and declare. I am valuable to the earth. I decree and declare. I am needed in the earth. I decree and declare. I am a blessing to all who know me. I decree and declare, I am a person of value. I decree and declare, I choose to like me. I choose to love me. I choose to appreciate me. Say this in closing. Thank you, God, for making me me. 
Well, those are affirmations. I decree and declare that you said those affirmations. Your words have more power to change your life than anything else. Your words, what we speak consistently, will get in your spirit and it will change how you think and how you view. I decree that today has been a paradigm shift for you. The way that you see yourself, the way that you see your outlook on your life. Why? Because you are indeed valuable to the earth. So yes, it's important to like you, love you, and to be able to appreciate you. Because if you don't, who else will? You can't expect anybody else to like you, love you, and appreciate you if you don't do it first. Oh my, what a word. Well, I'm Dr. B. Listen, I want you to go to my website at drbempowers.com to get more information on the works of Dr. B, my uh, campaign that I have going on that just started, uh, and it's called Suicide is Not an Option, period. Suicide is not an option. If you'd like to donate to that campaign, which is allowing me to do the work in the earth. I'm on a crusade to take uh, hope and healing to over 150 schools and community organizations. If you'd like to be a part of that, I would be humbled thankful and grateful uh, to you for that. And so as we close out today, I just want you to know on your worst day, your best day and every day in between, there's always a reason to have hope. Continue to subscribe to the podcast and hold on to hope like it's a piece of rope. Until next time. I'm so glad you made it to the end of the podcast. If the Hope Zone is making a positive difference in your life, please subscribe to the show so you don't miss the next episode. Leave a review and most of all, share it with your friends. And remember, from your worst day to your best day, there's hope in every situation.